Okay, this is my first uh, video flight test. I've tested it before, but um, of my dynamic stabilizer. Regular stabilizers are static, like these, they don't move. And these are dynamic stabilizers, they move. Uh, that cord won't get in the way when I'm flying. Um, the wind actually pushes them into the proper uh, configuration whether you're in fast forward flight or reverse flight or what have you I don't really do reverse with these yet because I do not have a head holding gyro I just have a standard gyro okay I'm gonna put my battery in this is my new um, outrage battery and uh, I didn't have any heat shrink tape so I just wrapped it with rubber and in between the wires so it's safe and then uh, Here's the standard eSky. I'm going to go with the standard eSky first because I know it works. Okay, the video on this is going to suck horribly because I do not have a camera person and the camera is just basically hanging from a neck strap around my neck, as is the transmitter, so it's going to get bumped around. May not always be pointing at the model and all that baloney, but you know, it's all I've got, so here goes. light breeze just about everything you could want for a good day to fly I did try and put on a head holding gyro but the kind I put on they don't recommend with this TX so um I uh eventually took it off having some problems with the tail so I'm going to bring it back down and uh, retrim that tail real quick And, uh, okay, I finally got the tail locked back in where I want it, and uh, I'm going to try this again. And uh, I'm going to try and do a couple flybys so you can hear the benefit of these uh, dynamic stabilizers. They allow you to do forward flight at a much uh, lower head speed. You should hear it when it flies by. Yeah. I'm not talking. It, uh, it's much lower than the typical whine you'd expect. It also um, just makes flying so much easier and more stable. Takes out the twitchiness that we have in these uh, smaller model aircraft. Now, everything it does really only does for a, um, while you're actually flying in forward flight. It doesn't change the dynamics of the helicopter and hover. The only stationary kind of stunt it helps with is um, a pyro, which I'm going to get it out there and attempt to do now. There you go. And it kind of flattens those out so they're a little bit less scary. But for fast forward flight and just looping around like this, it makes it uh, so much more smooth and it also makes it, since you're running at a lower head speed, so that you can get a longer flight time. I've been getting about an extra three minutes. Now the way I've got these set up, I believe they'll work for um, 
inverted flight as well, but I can't make that claim because I can't do that yet. My transmitter is horrible, and uh, I don't want to take that chance. Yeah, I know you, you can't really see it at this point in time, but... 